Hi Gloopies! Today we're going to be making pizza skulls. We're going to be starting off with our pepperonis and getting them prepared. We're going to take six slices of pepperoni for each pizza skull. I am stacking them here so it makes it easier to cut multiple at once because we're going to be cutting our pepperonis into quarters. This way we can stuff more pepperonis into each pizza skull while making sure that it's still easy to eat. And once they're cut, we're just going to be separating them out into individual stacks for each skull so it's easier while we're assembling them. Next, we're going to be working with our dough. This is store-bought dough. You can make your own dough. It takes a lot of work to make your own dough, so I just got store-bought here. You're going to roll it out into a 21 by 8 inch rectangle with the long edge closest to you, and then you're gonna cut it into six three and a half inch wide strips. This is one of the strips here that I'm just making sure is wide enough for our the skull mold. Our skull mold, the pan here, is actually Nordic Ware. I believe it's around $30. You can Google pizza skull mold. You should be able to find it pretty easily. Here we are laying our dough out into our mold here. You want to make sure that there's not a lot of air at the bottom so that everything will lay properly and get a nice skull shape. You also want to make sure before you start filling your molds that you have sprayed it with nonstick cooking spray so it's nice and easy to get out. Once that's done, you're going to start filling it with your ingredients. You're going to start with one tablespoon of shredded mozzarella, then you're going to do one tablespoon of grated parmesan. You're gonna do a tablespoon of pizza sauce. Again, I just used store-bought pizza sauce. You can make your own if you so choose. Next, you're gonna take your quarter cut pepperonis and you're gonna lay them out within your skull. Try to make sure they're pretty evenly distributed. So you can have a nice bite of pepperoni every time you bite into your skull. I was really careful with the placement, if you can tell. Once you have those in, you're going to add in another tablespoon of the sauce first. Make sure this is spread out amongst your skull. And add in a tablespoon of your mozzarella. And finally, you're going to sprinkle in some Italian seasoning on top. Once you have everything done, you want to make sure that your bottom edge there has not slipped into your mold. And then you're going to fold it over and start pinching the edges together. You want to make sure you have a nice seal on all the edges so that sauce and cheese does not come pouring out while it's cooking. The back side does not need to look the prettiest. It'll look a bit crazy, but that's okay. Because that's not the side you're going to be looking at when you're eating it. Once you're done, you have six little pizza skulls. I had a little bit of trouble with the dough on the last one, so it kind of ended up being a bit of a ball, but it's still tasty. And once that has been in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes, you have your pizza skulls. Here I'm adding some more of the pizza sauce onto the plate here. So you have a nice base for your pizza skull. This one put a nice thin layer just to have it kind of swimming in it a little bit, just have a nice dipping sauce to go with it. This it kind of looks like blood, so it's really fun. And look how well the mold worked. You have a nice skull, you got the teeth, got the nose. A little pizza skull for you to have for Halloween or any time of the year. Like I said, the back is not the prettiest, but that's not what matters. What matters is how it tastes. I'm just pulling into that. It was really tasty. Oh yeah, we get some cheese, we get some pepperoni, we get some sauce. Really nice. You can see how nice and ooey gooey it turned out. Do you want a bite? You can see the steam coming off of it just because of how hot it is. Nice and ooey gooey. Ah, oh, it's so tasty. You can fill this with anything. I personally chose pepperoni because I like pepperoni. 
And I know a lot of people are waiting for this. Here's a nice pull apart for you. Just rip right into that skull. Oh, look at that cheese. Look at the ooze. Oh, the ooze. Nice stretch. Some very ooey gooey cheese. Ah, oh, look at the fillings. You want to make sure that your pizza skulls are filled, but not so filled that they're going to burst. And now you have a nice delicious pizza skull. Let me know if you tried this out and how much you enjoyed your pizza skulls. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, Gloopies!